Hey, what I'm going to say now should not come as a shock to anyone, but hero banners should be a fundamental key part of your website. Of course, some of you won't need to have that depending on what you're selling or what your services are, but the majority of websites out there will have a hero banner because let me tell you now, the hero banner often is where you're going to demonstrate your key headline, might be a sub headline, and there's probably going to be a call to action. In fact, there has to be a call to action button because I'll tell you now, if you're going to ha if you have a hero banner and you haven't got those components in, I'm probably going to be jumping out of your website like that. Hero banners are basically a way of rewarding the visitor for visiting your website. So someone's gone to Google, they're starting to search for unicorns, there's 10 websites, they've gone on to yours. Now, if your hero banner has got nothing to do with unicorns, the headline is nothing to do with that. Why would I stay on your website? You've deceived me. You're nothing to do with unicorns, okay? So you hear a banner, you're basically reinforcing why did they come there? Maybe you're an architect. In that case, your hero banner needs to show off architecture, or maybe you sell tracksuits, make sure you do that, or you're a logo designer, have something like that. Maybe it's an image of you with some logo designs behind you or a bit of animation, but reward them for trusting your Google link to come and visit you in the first place. Now, I'm going to give you five tips on creating an effective hero banner. Tip one, create your hero banner straight after doing the header. Don't leave it till the end, okay? You've done your header, now move on to your hero banner because believe it or not, what you do there with your headlines and your call to action button can start to influence how you do the rest of the website, especially with your font sizes and things like that. Don't leave the hero banner later on and go, oh yeah, I'll do it at the end. No, you've done the header, now get the hero banner done. Tip number two. Think about your image sizes and responsiveness. You gotta get the best resolution you can. Convert and compress it to WebP as well would be my recommendation. But if you don't wanna do that, make sure you get the best resolution because that image, that hero banner is gonna to say to me as a visitor, do I wanna stick around? I'm not gonna bother scrolling if I don't like the quality of your image or it's pixelated or I can clearly tell you're a, you're a tourist company, you're, you're selling tickets to the Amazon or something, but the image is a very grainy Facebook image and it just looks really, really bad or I can see a watermark or there's just something about it that puts me off. Get the best image possible. And of course, remember, think about how it looks when you get to the mobile. So I have videos and tips on this. So if you've got a landscape 1920 by 1080 image for your desktop, Add a copy of that to your media library, which is now maybe a um, 500 wide by 700 tall um, image for your mobile. Because if you use the landscape image, it will affect your page speed insight. So as far as your hero banner goes, make sure you've got a very good image. Uh, make sure it's got great resolution and make sure you've got a copy of that for the mobile. Tip number three. Don't always create sliders or carousels for your hero banner. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, I've seen it being used on many websites. Yeah, I know that too. But if you ever check their page speed score on those websites, I bet it won't be that high. Sliders are great when you're trying to get across many messages and all of that. However, if you care about your page speed performance, I would say move your slider or your carousel to be below the fold. What do I mean by that? Well, when you're looking at it on a desktop, when you scroll down, that is now below the fold. When you're looking at a website on your mobile, when you scroll down, that is below. It's what sits here. It's what's below the fold. But it's entirely up to you. The other thing why I'm not a massive fan of sliders or carousels on a hero banner is because often you're trying to tell a story. Slide one, hey, how you doing? Slide two, oh, I got a problem. Slide number three, no one else can help. Slide four, who are you going to call? Slide five, with the call to action button, the A-team. Well, I had to go through five slides. And what if it was automated and it was like slide one, slide two, slide three. Oh, oh, oh I didn't read slide two. I've got to go back and forth now. I am not against sliders or carousels. However, in the hero banner, I don't like to do that. And if a client wants it, I try and say to them, let's do it below the fold because it does impact on your page speed, okay? And there's nothing worse than like, you go to a website and it's like that. 
Some of my favorite websites that I like to go to do that. And the only reason I keep going back to them is because I like the content, but I really hate the sliders as a hero banner. And that rolls into tip four, page speed performance and like the three second click or the three second, st three second stay. If you've got sliders and they've got heavy duty images or lots of content, and there's a bit of a delay with them rendering, especially when you have a video as your hero banner, that could switch me off. I've gone to your website, I'm on my mobile, in my Google search, there were five other possible candidates that I might have gone into, but your slider is taking an age. And when I do get slide one and I move to slide two, it takes an age again or a video. So rendering speed of your hero banner could switch me off, which is why I say if you are gonna have an image, obviously get the best resolution, but a WebP image as well to compress that size down just so it loads quick will help. And of course, just like with the three second rule, make sure you demonstrate what is the point of me staying on your website. I searched for unicorn. Your headline better reinforce that as well as your image, your subheader and your button might be, you know, your call to action button. It might be something like, let's get horny because it's unicorns.com. So let's get Horny makes sense. Let's go to tip number five. If there was going to be one place when you really want to make sure you get your SEO done right and your keywords, it's that hero banner. Your headline. Can you get your keyword into your main headline? Can you get it into your subheader? Maybe you've got a bit of text editor on there. You know, you don't have to, but you might have some extra detail. Can you get it into there somehow as well? Because if your, if your website is about unicorns, that's the keyword someone went and searched for, get it in there. Because you don't want to be now start talking about stuff that's nothing to do with unicorn because it might switch me off and I might feel deceived and stuff like that. So the best place for some of your keywords is in your hero banner. I've now given you five, they're quite broad tips about your hero banner, but I'm going to end it or conclude it with keep your hero banner fresh, enticing, pull me in. Don't just copy what everyone else does, be inspired, but try and reinforce why the heck did someone land on your website and why are they going to want to stick around? Don't just do like uh, an image of yourself, but you're not really showcasing who you are or what you do. Don't just have an image of a product without some detail. Try and pull me in and make me want to continue, okay? Because that is the point of the website. Pull me in, make me hit that call to action, make me make a purchase. Hey, I hope you enjoy that. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.